guys welcome back to my channel today is actually Halloween and I'm so super excited I'm gonna be filming two videos today so if I'm wearing the same outfit that's why I'm not changing anyway um, this video is going to be my October book haul I picked up some books at the thrift store and I got some books in my nocturnal readers box this month so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it I'll start with what came in the Nocturnal Readers box. I only got the box in September and October just for Halloween shits and giggles. I've never got the box before and I wanted to see what it was all about. I already canceled the subscription for November because I really don't think for the things in the box that I really liked, it really wasn't worth the price for me. So the first book that was in the box is What the Hell Did I Just Read by David Wong. This is the guy that wrote John Dies at the End and this book is full of spiders. And I believe this is a trilogy, but they said in the box thing that you can read them separately and still understand what's going on. Uh, it's supposed to be really funny. And so I am excited to read this, but I think I am gonna try to find the first two books at the library and read those first. The next book is Cold Moon Over Babylon by Michael McDowell. He wrote the screenplays for Beetlejuice and Nightmare Before Christmas and the book The Elementals. This book has something to do with a weird, maybe unnatural kind of murderer who's going after a 14 year old. I might try to get to this book in November. I might continue on with my scary reads throughout the year instead of just reading stuff in September and October. I definitely am looking forward to this. The next book is the Valancourt Book of Horror Stories, Volume 2, edited by James Jenkins and Ryan Cagle. Uh, this is a bunch of short stories and I actually have read a couple of these already and I really did like them. I thought they were really good and perfect Halloween reads. I'm definitely going to continue on reading these stories throughout the year. I'm not going to wait till next October because they were really good. These next books are from the thrift store, so I think they were all maybe 50 cents to $2 a piece. I picked up Scots on the Rocks by Mary Dayhem. Uh, this is one of those um, cozy mystery type books. It's a bed and breakfast mystery. I've never read anything from the series or from this author, but I do love anything that's set in Scotland. This is about a couple who own a bed and breakfast and they go to Scotland on vacation. There's an explosion at a castle, somebody dies, and they try to figure out who killed said person. So this one should be really cute and fun, and I think I'm gonna like it. This next one is Shakespeare's Christmas by Charlene Harris. Um, I was really excited to find this one because I'm actually re-watching the True Blood series on TV right now. I love the Suki Stackhouse books and Charlene Harris writes those books. So this is from a different series of books, not the Suki Stackhouse books. This character, Lily Bard, goes to her hometown for a Christmas Eve wedding and people die and apparently her boyfriend is a detective and there's a mystery. So this might be kind of like a cozy mystery also, I don't know if you call this cozy or not, but it definitely is a mystery and it's more for Christmas time. So I'm gonna be reading this in probably December. I got The Couple Next Door by Sherry La Pena. La Pena? Uh, this is a thriller and I think it kinda came out recently. I'm not really sure. But this is about some people that go to a dinner party and something terrible happens. And then I think something terrible happens to maybe a kid or a baby because the parents are being blamed. That's what it says on the back. This is a pretty short read and I'm looking to get into more thrillers. So I definitely want to try this one out. I grabbed The Nature of Monsters by Claire Clark. This is a historical book set in 1666 and it says that it is a gothic novel. It happens right after the Great Fire in London and it has a woman in it who gives birth to a baby that has a large red birthmark. I think from what I'm getting on the back that maybe people think there's something wrong with the baby and she has to hide. So yeah, I love historical fiction and I feel like I haven't read historical fiction in a while so I definitely want to check this out. The last one I picked up is Faithful Place by Tana French. This is the third in the In the Woods book series. I have the first two that I picked up at the thrift store also, so I basically got the entire set for $6. Uh, this one is in hardback. The other two I have are soft cover, but that's okay. I haven't started those books yet. 
but they are also thrillers and they are set in Ireland and I think they're about some kids that go missing in the woods. All right guys, those are all the books that I picked up in October. If you've read any of these, let me know down below. I hope you guys had a great month. I know I did. I'm really sad to see that it's over. Kind of sucks. Uh, but now we are on to Christmas. Yay. Hope you all have a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.